Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some more Demir Zombie Mill. So we've played this deck one time so far to success. Uh, we went 3-2. and two. We started off 3-0 and oh even uh, before losing two in a row. And we talked about afterwards of like some things maybe to change because it was like a, it's a first rough draft. So this is you know maybe not necessarily improvement but things that we kind of wanted to do after that first time of playing the deck and um and so let's try it out the, the main thing that we're that we're trying out here is putting shimmer of possibility in the deck this is not a card that was in the deck before so we're playing four shimmer of possibility because this can uh, really go through the library quickly and see a lot of cards and you know we're a combo deck where we need uh, we have four combo pieces between Chamber Sentry, Diligent, Excavator, Arcane Adaptation, and Liliana Untouched by Death. And so Shimmer of Possibility helps us find those uh, combo pieces. Hey yo, with the sub. Welcome to the channel. So I guess I should, I guess I should probably mention what the combo is, you know, assuming that you, you know, you didn't necessarily see us play this before so basically what we need is we need our Ar arcane adaptation in play and it needs to, to name zombie and the reason why is because we need liliana's minus three ability to allow us to cast zombie cards from our graveyard this turn and so we need all of our creatures to be zombies so we can play any creature from our graveyard and with that uh when we have that going the th the thing that we're going to be doing is casting this chamber sentry that costs zero mana. That's the reason why we have this card because we can, you know, it can cost zero mana. We can just cast it from the graveyard. It'll immediately die, go back to the graveyard. Then we can cast it again and so on. So we can just repeatedly cast this card over and over and over again. So the reason why we'd want to do that is because we have the diligent excavator that whenever we cast a historic spell, target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. So we can have our opponent... Uh, mill over two cards from their library into their graveyard and we can just re repeatedly do that over and over and over again so it's a pretty resilient combo like we don't basically we don't really need very much on the battlefield whenever we untap uh, we can if we have six mana and arcane adaptations already on the battlefield we can just like play liliana and diligent excavator the same turn and then start playing chamber sentries for zero and everything we can even have our excavator can just be dead it can just be in our graveyard as long as we have six mana, we just draw Liliana. We can have the other two combo pieces in our graveyard, and we could just slam down Liliana, minus three, replay the excavator from the graveyard, then start replaying chamber sentries and so on. <laughs> so that's uh that's that's kind of like what our deck's doing. So it's it's pretty janky, but it's you know, it's different, it's fun. So let's give it a try and see how this version works here with all these Shimmer of Possibilities. We have less interaction for our opponent, and we're pretty all in on just the combo now. Before, we had like a couple Thief of Sanities in the main deck as like, an, as like another way to win, but we are going away from that and seeing if we can just mill our opponent out. All right, Traditional Constructed, Demir, Zombie Mill. <laughs> It'd be a pretty fun Saturday, Hawkeye. All right, we can keep this. We got two of our combo pieces so far. <laughs> Thanks, King Toll. Hey, Rex. Okay, so let's lead with Discovery. And the main thing we're going to be looking for is Arcane Adaptation. That's a very easy Discovery. Just ship those lands to the bottom. Oh, no. Streams are going to be even an hour even an hour later, starting tomorrow for y'all. Over in Europe. So, I think if you're playing, the question is, is you know, what's the difference really between Shimmer and 
anticipate. If we're playing a lot of other... I'll take the first. I'll take the first one, see if we can get more value out of this Ritual of Soot. If you're playing a lot of other instants, anticipate is more, you know, gains more value. If you're playing Teferi, for example, how you get to untap two lands, you know, that's, that's something that's pretty good for anticipate. We're not really playing very many instants, or like basically any instants. And therefore, we just want the card that sees, you know, we want to see more cards, basically. Uh-oh. Ooh, there's the adaptation. Um, so if we just draw... Yeah, we're going to take a hit here, but... Either we're if we if we draw chamber sentry next turn we win. If we don't, we ritual of soot and try try again. So we want to draw either ritual or we want to draw a chamber sentry. Of course, that's our best draw. If not, we want one of our two mana cards that help us search, whether it's discovery or shimmer. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. We kind of need to draw right now. Unfortunately, Ritual of Set does not kill Lean and War Leader or Barging Sergeant. Ugh. We did not draw it. War Leader was a problem, not dying to Ritual of Set. And the Sergeant doesn't help either. Yeah, Mike, we need Kaiserath, not Soot. Okay, so let's get more... Another Soot and another Contempt. Probably just two more Soots and another Contempt. Honestly, we just need to have a good amount of removal. I think we should be fine overall. No, I was at two life. Soot plus cast down um, did not help me survive. They had two creatures that did not die to Soot, and cast down could only kill one of the two, and the other one would kill me. So this is 63 if we bring in th those extra removal spells. I mean, I may just take out Thought Erasure. Like, do I, do I honestly really need Thought Erasure in this kind of matchup? Likely not. It's kind of weird. I mean, Thought Erasure is just a very strong card, but... Okay, I like this with the Azkanta on, on two to help us smooth our draw steps out. That was one thing that, even though we had the discovery the ditch two lands, we kind of drew a little bit too many lands there, the last game. <laughs> What's this deck? We're playing a we're playing a combo deck where we're trying to mill our opponents out. It's a wacky one, but it's honestly not that bad. better than it looks. Ooh, there's Hawkeye's hero card. Alright, let's keep that Arcane Adaptation. We're going to need that one. And the, 
uh, zombie. And so it's pretty nice how if we find either one of the two creatures with search for his canto, we can just ditch them and put them in the graveyard because we don't actually need them in our hand. I mean, that's a good card. I'm going to graveyard it, though. Kind of looking for our combo. And I'll wait a turn for the Ritual of Soot to get the other History of Benalia token. And this time we do have the cast down for that thing. So that makes our life better for sure. <laughs> Um, I think this card's actually pretty good. Let's keep it. We're not casting it this turn, but it be a decent card to cast next turn. Sure, I'll keep that too. So I could play Liliana and start self-milling. The problem is them attacking Liliana, though. Is not ideal for me. But it would help us find our creatures faster. But if Liliana dies, then, you know, it's a problem. Ooh. So would I rather kill a Boros Challenger or a Swift Blade Vindicator? Or neither. We'll go neither. Looks like I am going to be getting rid of the Swift Blade Vindicator. So we can potentially... Like, yeah, we'll be able to flip Ascanta next turn. Yeah, Vindicator gets really nasty. Like, I'd rather cast Contempt because it uses my mana better and, like, lets me, like, activate Search and cast down a following turn. But it's like, if our opponent has some kind of legendary creature, the cast down doesn't kill. That'll be quite annoying, but I'm going to hope they don't. But they have Aurelia or Tajik, for example, as cards that you cannot cast down that are big time threats. Could, could be problematic. Flip Test Canta doesn't directly help us get the creatures because we are looking for the creatures, but it does find us discoveries and shimmers. You know, we have four of each of those, so it just gives us just gives us velocity. Also helps us find just ritual of sets to stay alive and buy time. There's one combo piece going down to the bottom of the library. Alright, there's a chamber sentry. And I don't think I really need a thought erasure. All right, let's see if we just find the other one. Not quite yet. The Diligent Excavator. So we do have the mana next turn to play Discovery and also play Liliana and Diligent Excavator if we find it. So if Diligent Excavator is one of our top um, four cards, I guess we get to see four cards next turn. Also, just take a ritual of soot. Alright, we'll 
Well, there's a ritual, so we'll just take that. Survive for a little bit longer. Hey, CEO. Happy Saturday. Hmm. Alright, so we still have three more. Uh, there's 31 cards left, but those three, six, nine, it's... You know, there's only one in those nine, so there's... Three in the top 22. So looking at four cards, you think we'll find one. Maybe not quite yet, though. <laughs> I guess not. Uh, let's take a backup... I mean, Hostage Shaker is fine, but let's take a backup Liliana... In case something happens. This this allows us just to mill three over. And we should be able to mill it over now. Because that's... Uh, there's three more in the bottom 18 cards. You know, we've seen all but the bottom 18 cards of the library by now. And there's still three more left in the bottom 18. So if we're milling over three... By, by next turn, I we're going to combo off, basically, is what I'm saying. Answer. One person's trash is another woman's army. Because now we're at the bottom 15 cards, and there's three. And we get our draw step plus. We can mill three over again. Who knows? Maybe we can't actually find a diligent excavator. Hooray, we found one. Alright, basically we'll see if they have instant speed removal or not. I guess even if they do, we have the man to recast Excavator, so... Doesn't really matter. Even if they have, like, a lightning strike. We can just recast it, because we'll, it'll be a zombie. I have mastered death! Alright, so it takes a lot of clicking. So click zero, 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 target you. Two cards milled. All right, they're down to 43. Okay, it's right again. So you play this, zero, zero, mill two. <laughs> Let the clicking begin. Oh, this is so janky. I wonder if our opponent will figure out what's going on here. Zero, zero, them. Yeah, just do exclamation point deck list. You can get the deck list there. Hawkeye's kind of laying on my keyboard here. Or right in front of my keyboard. I guess not actually on it, but right in front of it. <laughs> and yeah, we got this infinite... Infinite mill combo. <laughs> this is a jank. It's great though. It's like, what is going on? Alright, so this is only game two. We're going to have to win a game three. What was this thing? Target creature? Oh, that's Sure Strike. Click, 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 click. I could say good game. I don't know, that may be a little rude though, but maybe I could tell my you know, help my opponent out, tell them that they are they cannot win anymore. <laughs> you gotta add mirror march. Alright, they figured it out. Infinite combo. 
If you played against this, you would make me do every click. You don't value, you know, like four minutes of your time. Let's see. I guess I should probably play this Moment of Craving for like the more we've seen of their deck. If we put the Moment of Craving in, I'll just take out the other, the, the last Thought Erasure. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> you watch YouTube in the meantime. Under pressure. So yeah, I went went to four chamber century this time. Because you know we had the three last time and we really struggled finding them. I know the very so this is only our second time to play the deck. The last time we did this, we played this deck, uh, our very first time of comboing off, our opponent had us uh, mill over the entire, mill over their entire deck. Thanks, Atomic. Okay, game three. It's a clutch game. I'll feel bad if we lose to like this, this deck, but it's certainly possible. All right, not a mulligan. Shimmer can just find black mana if need be. Yeah, we the first time we played it, we actually started three and zero, and then we lost two, so we went three and two. We beat Drakes and Sultai. The Sultai match was pretty crazy. Oh, uh, this is really unfortunate. I really want that Ar Arcane Adaptation, and I like that Ritual set too, but I feel like I shouldn't take this Black Source. Yeah, I should just take the Black Source. Our our match against Sultai game after winning game one, game two was like we were like really dead on board, and I want to take the discovery. It's tough putting two diligent excavators down to the bottom though. I guess I'll take one of them. We were like really dead on board, and we top decked. We top decked like the sixth land so that we could cast Excavator plus Liliana on the same turn when I had Arcane I had Arcane Adaptation in play. So we play Excavator first. Um honestly Search for Escanta may be better than Liliana here to help smooth out my draws. So we play the Excavator first, we play Liliana, you know, so we mill two cards, we self mill ourselves two, we had to not only do we have to draw the sixth mana to be able to play both of them, because those were like our only two cards in hand. But then we also... Uh, oh, and, and I had to mill over the top card also, because we actually only had four lands in play, kind of like this. Where I had, to, I had to mill over the top card so that I could flip as Kanta. We do that. And then, since we mill ourselves two, we had to hit Chamber Sentry in the mill. And we did. We hit Chamber Sentry out of the top two also. There's only three chamber sentries in our deck, so it was crazy lucky there. So I'll just kind of play my creatures. Oh wait, chamber sentry, you have you have to auto tap it. Took out a Tajik. So keeping that land would have allowed us to hostage shaker the challenger and cast it, but still, you know, wanted to still valued 
going towards finding our other two combo pieces and flipping as Kanta more. But we drew another land, so all good. For myself, I never do the make them click all the way through and, and play it out. I I would I value just going to an, another game more highly and continuing to play Magic because the game the game's over. We may kill our opponent through damage here. Okay. Diligent Excavator down. But remember, with our combo, it doesn't matter whether the Excavator is in the graveyard or in play. We do need the Chamber Sentry to be dead. Uh, thankfully, Chamber Sentry, you can just remove the counters from it. You can kill your own Chamber Sentry, so that's good. And you don't need to spend two mana to kill it. You can, you can just spend one and remove one counter and deal one damage to itself also. So that's like a way to kind of... Like where if you don't have the mana to spend... To spend uh, two with that. Yep, this is an infinite mill combo with Liliana. Yep. Basically, we'll see if we get arcane adaptation here for this three with our three mana. Ooh, we do, but that's double Liliana going to the bottom. If I if I don't select Liliana, we have two going to the bottom. I guess we're not we don't see him, but we already know that one Liliana is at the bottom already. So that'd be three Lilianas at the bottom. We know one one adaptation's at the bottom and one Liliana is. I feel like I should probably just take the Liliana, and it'll be easier to find an adaptation. Even though the adaptation is better for us. I mean, honestly, we're just going to win with these sausage takers. Shakers this game. But we got to. We had our combo online for game number two. And so starting the league off with a win. Demir Zombie Mill. Funny to put up too much of a fight there that third game. <laughs> hey, what's up, Jelly? All right, pretty decent hands. Arcane Adaptation and Liliana are, are the two more important uh, combo pieces. Because the other ones can just be in your graveyard. You can self-mill them over, you know, that, that kind of stuff. Still keeping. <sighs> so I could take Growth Spiral... I should probably just take Wilderness Reclamation, though. Wouldn't have hated taking Grow Spiral there, though. Oh, you got, you got timed out for 10 minutes for spamming emotes. Tilt. All right, Liliana's a great draw. So we need a second black source, and we need between second black source, and we need arcane adaptation. No land, no land, no land. Dang.
Ooh, there's there's the adaptation. All I need is second black source underneath that adaptation. And the game is over. Obviously our opponent could, could find a counter spell though. Yeah, we're yeah, having short streams this weekend. Zombie. Because of the invitational, so starting later in the day. But Monday we're doing a 12-hour stream because last night uh, we did actually have two people sign up for Harry's. So we went from 19 to 21 there. So we're doing, we got to our, the Harry's goal of people signing up, getting their $3 uh, for, with free shipping starter set sent to them. So if our opponent has no interaction, we win. Whew! Double explosion. I'm not just feared, I'm respected. Rise! All right, that resolved. They have to have, they have to have a removal spell for Excavator now. Counter spell doesn't work anymore. Haunted Soldier, getting that gifted sub from Jelly. Thanks, Jelly. Thank you so much. Haunted Soldier, enjoy all the awesome emotes. And there we go. That's a win. Turn 5 kill. Opponent scoops him up. <laughs> Man, this deck is awesome. <laughs> Out combo, the reclamation player. Say, so take that. All right, so we have a lot of negates and duresses and thief of sanities. We'll take out ritual, contempt, cast down. Like, do I, do I keep basically do I keep in contempt for Niv Mizzet, or do I just try to? I guess I could have like hostage taker for Niv Mizzet. This is still sixty six though. Like, this is a lot of cards, like, if I bring in all these Thief of Sanities and stuff. So it's like, what do I, what do I do? I could probably trim on these combo pieces. That's still 64. Hmm. Maybe I'll just take out Shimmer possibility with having Duress Negate. Like, you don't want to spend the turn casting Shimmer. Because I think I want Hostage Taker still. Maybe one Hostage Taker. Get this excavator back in here. Let's try that. Yeah, this isn't... I mean, I guess this is kind of our... This is our deck. Uh, Sam says, are you okay with the decks in the Invitational with a lot of mono red and Esper control? I mean, that's just that's just the format. That's the best of one format. That's the problem with the format is it, just, it really incentivizes you to be uh, very, uh, very linear. You can't, don't really want to be in the middle. You either want to be hyper aggro or hyper control. Uh, you want to try to blank cards from the opponent being like a hyper control deck. I was, like I said before like last week and stuff or I guess earlier in the week that I definitely expected Esper, uh, Esper Control to be the most popular deck there not not too surprised 
that it's really popular and doing well, it's really good in the best of one format. Ooh, no lands. So do I do I go adaptation or thief? The problem with adaptation is or sorry, the problem with thief is it does fill my opponent's graveyard. I think it's pretty it's it's, it's kind of it's pretty likely this gets negated. Yeah, well, let's just go thief. They kept that card, so it's got to be a land, right? Yeah. All right, they're shocking in for for counter spell, of course. So we got three adaptations. Let's just count. let's just throw one out there. You know, next turn, if we draw another land, we could have Thief with Negate back up. That's bad for us. Yeah, you, yeah, you cannot buy contempt. So yeah, I could see contempt being a, a code, or I could also see it being see it being like that. Like them doing some kind of promo event. Like I'm a little surprised with this promo event that like getting five wins wasn't a contempt kind of thing. Oh, it's the season reward? What how what kind of reward is it for the season? Platinum, so you, you need to be platinum. And it's next season. What does next season mean? Like the one that is there like a season that ends in a couple of days, and is there a reward for that? Like, do I need to just try to get platinum in, in like a couple of days or something? Need platinum during April. Okay. All right. Hoping with all this stuff, they don't find any removal spell for Hostage Taker. Definitely not sure how much removal they have in their deck. And we also need to draw a land to be able to cast Niv, of course. Oh yeah, I do have Negate. Negate wasn't a, a code, uh, but yeah, I, I have I got the pack that had Negate in it. I forgot to switch that. So they could still find explosion and kill the the hostage taker. Ooh, we got Niv.
yeah, they were they were on the play this game. This is a, a big part of them being you know being on the play. Like if we were, we had negate in hand for like turn two as Kanta, if we were on the play, we would have been able to uh, negate in Ascanta. And it would have helped out quite a bit, but we weren't. Hey, what's up, Yud? Oh, yeah. Besides losing to Reclamation, a card that should have never been printed, besides that, we're definitely going to be having some fun tonight. So they have lots of negates of their own in right now. All right, so game three. Let's try this again. Nope, no ego in the sideboard. We did have a zombie Niv Mizzet. That is, that is true. So we're gonna need land drops. That's a good start. And we're gonna need Liliana. Negate, negate, insight. I kind of want to take inside, honestly. You know, like, negates trade one for one and everything, but inside does more than that. Nah, I should take negate. Da -da, da -da. So they shocked in with the one land that I didn't know about. Oh, I guess because these were all those were all tap lands actually. So they didn't actually have. So them drawing the shock land allowed them to do that actually. Okay. We got all of our stuff. We we just need mana. Okay, we got mana. I guess it's most likely that Liliana resolves this turn. They only have two cards we don't know about. Please don't have a counter spell. Yeah. You can kneel. If you like. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got planned for you. Yes, Metal Monkey. I have the other Negate. I think Negate wasn't... I don't think Negate was in that. Was it? But I, I do have the other Negate. Pretty sure we got the Negate from... A different thing. But yeah, you know, like we already had this deck list. I forgot to, to go put the negate in. So do they have another counter spell? So they have to have another Sinister Sabotage. Witness my power. We got him. Got team. Wow. We beat Teamer Reclamation. That's a feel good.
That's certainly a feel good. Yeah, it's nice counter spell. We get to recast it from the graveyard. Dude, our deck is great. So yeah, basically, if you didn't, if you were just kind of joining, in, if you didn't know what was gonna happen, we got to mill them infinitely. We have an infinite mill combo, and we got to mill them two cards a turn, and we were gonna mill them out. Whew, that was a good win. Yeah, needy. There's a command for the codes. There you go. Yeah, Yud has it right there. Yep. Yep, there's all the codes. Yud's got them there. Right, right above you, Scrub. Somebody did the deckless command. That's why it didn't pop up again. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, we don't have anything, technically, but Discovery and Shimmer get to find cards pretty quickly. <laughs> What's our opponent doing over here? Let's cast Discovery first. Because Shimmer... Um, you know, can dig for a single card better, and Discovery looks at, like, a few, like, where we can keep a couple. Alright, so we know we need to find Arcane Adaptation. That's the main one now to look for. Ah. Jeskai Control. Jeskai Drakes. I kind of regret getting rid of the other cast down now, but not too much. So the, pro the problem with playing Excavator is our opponent could... The main problem is our opponent can... Um, They can lava coil it, and so if they just like kill it with like a lightning strike or whatever, whatever removal spell, I you know goes to the graveyard, it's all good because we re we recast it. The problem is is lava coil. All right, Arcane Adaptation resolves. Now we just gotta find the Chamber Sentry. And we'll have this game in hand. Of course, we need Liliana resolve. Obviously, we need a, a lot of things to resolve. Yeah, but ho ho hopefully they just have removal spells like Clarion and all that kind of stuff. Thanks, Jelly. Yeah, uh, Yud made that thumbnail for the constructed event. Yeah, that was. Yeah, Yud made that. Uh, every draft on Arena is against bots. Those are the only drafts you do on Arena are against bots. All right, so we're going to go ahead and play this Diligent Excavator because we don't really need to worry about it getting Lava Coiled because we have the other one in the graveyard. So we're good there. The matches you the matches you play against other people it's just during the draft part you draft against with bots. But you you play the games against other people. Like everybody does their own draft against bots. Um, so we have seven. We do get to flip.
There's the combo. Alright, let's 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 try it. Let's see if it resolves. Our opponent may not know what's going on, even though everything's on the table. I've conquered death. As I will open the graves. Okay, do that have instant, instant speed removal. Counter spells doesn't work anymore. They have to be able to kill this excavator. Is this game? Game? No instant speed removal? Haha, <laughs> we got the nice and the concede. Got the concession. All right, so duress negate. I don't, I don't think I want Thief of Sanity against the Drake deck. You know, like, you know, with their Drakes and everything. I don't really want that. Let's see. I do want to keep cast down in contempt. I want to be able to kill the drakes. But if I play duress negate, that's a lot of cards to bring in. I guess I don't really want hostage taker here. So that's 64. So again, I could just get it, get rid of shimmer to have duress negate in. Tell me. One Shimmer, go down to three Sentry. So, artifacts are historic spells. So that's why just casting this, this is an artifact, so casting this is makes it historic. The, the X, having the X doesn't make it historic. But as you see, the top right hand part, like, see, it says historic artifacts, legendaries, and sagas are historic. So it's an artifact. Do I honestly need all these dresses and negates? Maybe not. We'll see. I don't think this deck could pull off the two mana undergrowth tutor. You really don't have very many creatures in your graveyard, hardly ever. The only card, and the only card it would actually find is Liliana, Untouched by Death, and having four creatures in your graveyard is really hard. Especially if you don't have Liliana. Um, this hand's really good. We're on the draw, so we have like two looks to get like a second land, and then Discovery hits us more land drops, and then we have these things, and we have removal. We have like basically everything except for a second land. So, I want to try this. So, there's, uh, if you check out the info panel about donations and donation decks and everything down below, uh, lots of information there. Have it all kind of written out of, like, different ways to donate for me to play a deck. You can also support by supporting any of my sponsors here and get your, getting yourself some new products. You can either get a free donation decks or reduced price on donation decks as well. Tilt. Just wanted to draw one land so I could discovery for more lands.
we get some of these shimmer possibilities back in here. They're going to be pretty creature heavy, especially with having War Boss to go with their Drakes and everything. I don't think we need all those negates. We do have three duress, four thought erasure already of like um, ways to help our combo get through. Oh yeah, tomorrow is Sunday. Sunday pack day tomorrow. Hmm. So next turn we arc any adaptation. The following turn I play Shimmer plus Cast Down or Shimmer plus Excavator. Zombie. Yep, I'll be streaming tomorrow. Late. Uh, it'll be a late start again tomorrow uh, after the Invitational is finished up with. But yep, I'll, I'll be streaming again tomorrow. And then... Monday, so you know it'll be like a three, four hour stream tomorrow. Uh, and then Monday we're doing a 12 hour stream. Oh no. Ixalan's binding? That should be banned. So we gotta take dispersal. Like we're, we're gonna need dispersal here for that binding. the car that I need to find. Now we need to just find a Liliana. Yeah, we'll see if we do a third deck or not. Thing is, is, remember, we get to just cast these cards from our graveyard, so them being in our graveyard is not, really not a big deal at all. I like taking my opponent's turn up. It's a lot of difficult stuff to beat here. For us. The problem with the Planeswalkers is... They mean they make the dispersal not hit the the binding. I don't think we're beating these cards to be honest. It's basically the, the two planeswalkers. We have to take one right now. All right, we're gonna have to keep the other dispersal, I guess. It's gonna be tough. Basically, if they get to play Rao, we're dead. the negate. Alright, so if, if our top card's Liliana, we can win. They tap out for Rao. If our top card's Liliana, we can win. That's about our only shot.
but we can't we can't draw like we we have to we have to have all six mana because we need to be able to cast our excavator. So if we if our top card here is Liliana, which we know the bottom three aren't, so we have a, a four and thirty eight <laughs> shot of winning this game right now. So Otherwise, we're probably dead. So four and thirty eight shot. Okay, that'll keep us alive for a little bit. And yeah, we could just play the other adaptation here. So they can't get rid of both of them. But certainly get Niv Mizzet out of here. The search for the unknown. That's real science. Another one. All right. Well, we can still win this. Liliana, four out of thirty-seven. Ugh, that's not it. Dang. We had two draws at Liliana. Couldn't find it. All right, we're two and one. That one. I certainly feel like. You know, us just not playing a second game, you know, certainly hurt us with how I didn't mulligan the one lander. You know, even though everything costs two and we had, like, discovery, like, if we just hit our second land, we're, we're pretty golden with that. Not, we were going to be just fine with that second hand, but we didn't, and so we didn't even get to play magic. We had basically a two lander that looked like this, where, you know, discovery can be cast with black mana, like, or if we just hit the second land... We have like a bunch of good interact two man interaction and removal and stuff. And we were on the draw. So it's basically this exact same hand. So I guess let's mulligan it this time. Mastermind's just really expensive. Four man is a ton. I think Mastermind's better in a control deck when you have lots of removal and lots of interaction. You want the game to go really late. That's when Mastermind's acquisition's good. But when you don't have those things... Taking, like, taking that turn off is very difficult. Alright, so there's our combo. Let's keep both of these. The thing is, we're not going to have a... Like, we're going to need a Ritual of Sit on turn four, most likely, to stay alive. So, we're going to Shimmer and look for a land. And then we'll have, like... So, we'll have, like, Ritual on four. Like, uh, Arcane Adaptation plus Diligent Excavator on five. And then Liliana on six. So, we're not actually looking like we're going to win for a little while. I could have just gone, you know, the best best possible thing for us to do is actually play Adaptation there. But it's just too risky of, if we don't don't just draw land the next turn, then we're in huge trouble, so. Definitely glad our, our opponent just had mo more creatures for us to sit away. That's good. And not more spells for this Electrostatic field to do anything with. Good job, Sausage. Way to, way to make it to Mythic. Good job. So we're we're a combo deck. We have two creatures. The ex like these these four cards are our combo. This is it's an infinite mill combo. Kill our opponent with these four cards. The problem is is it's gonna take us next like we're gonna be able to kill our opponent next turn. But the problem is we need next turn. So hopefully our opponent cannot deal six damage to us this turn. They get they get to draw three cards. As long as they don't kill us this turn, they're dead next turn. Please whiff. Whiff, whiff, whiff. Whiff. That's good. I like to see that. I 
Okay. I think we got him. They didn't kill us. Can we beat Nexus of Fate without it being shuffled back? So, not really, but the thing is, is if you mill out the rest of their library and you only leave them with Nexus of Fates, if you do it early like this, like maybe they don't have the seven mana I to cast Nexus of Fate and it just kind of goes back to their hand and, you know, you just kind of beat them down with like some creatures or something. So even if they have a lightning strike here to kill the Excavator, we have the extra two <sighs> mana to recast Exca like Excavator. So they'd ha they need to have two lightning strikes, but if they have two lightning strikes, we would just be dead. So I don't think they do, so... I think we got this. So time to click a bunch. You might have already used Play Allegiance earlier. Play Allegiance and Play Ravnica are both very old co codes. Like, they're both codes that came out uh, whenever the sets came, came out. Allegiance and Ravnica did. All right, we just keep on doing this, turn by turn. Oh, our opponent did draw a risk factor, though. Or, like, yeah, they're going to get risk factors. That's going to kind of... I don't know, throw a, some kind of wrench into this. Mono Red is certainly the matchup I'm not really trying to win, but we had a really good hand here with a Ritual Soot on turn four that, you know, killed four creatures, and then we also had all four of our combo pieces to kill them in two turns after that. Overall, I, I'm not expecting to win games two or three, though. Yeah, definitely making them draw, for sure, here. So, Decline. Oh, that is true. Our opponent can kill on upkeep. That is true. That's a good point. If they if they had it, if they found double lightning strike on upkeep before drawing for a turn, if they had double lightning strike there, they could kill us. But I guess they didn't hit it. I don't know. If you take it, then just a shock kills you. If their last card's shock. It's a tough take. Alright, let's get more soot, more contempt. Moment. Duress and negate. Alright, off the duress. Hostage taker out. Um, <laughs> it is, yeah, if you, if, if you would have that, if you'd have me do all the clicks, it is a very, very slow mill. I think we need to keep all, all four of all combo pieces in. I think we need to try to combo as quickly as possible. I could take out Thought Erasure. With how our opponent can just empty their hand pretty quickly. I don't hate that. Maybe I don't actually need the negates. Bargy with the Twitch Prime sub. Let's get some hype in the channel. For our resub here, Bargy, welcome back. Thanks for continuing that Twitch Prime sub, and we're getting this countdown going on down. So we have two combo pieces and a removal spell. Ooh, that's a good removal spell. And plus. Chamber Sentry can just be a 2-mana two 2-2. Two, two. 
So we can just kind of block. All right, I'm killing the field first, right? Yeah, I probably want to get rid of that field. Hmm. A lot of options. I'm thinking about just moment of craving the lava runner. No, I should probably f cast down the field. The problem with cast downing the field is this lets them light up the stage very easily and conveniently. Because they just get to attack in for one and then light up the stage kind of thing. Still gonna go with that. So what's our payoff? We, yeah, we uh, mill our opponent. We have an infinite mill combo. Self for two. Wait. You have to make sure, otherwise, they. Blue and black. Thank you. Hit land, land. Alright, that's fine. I don't want to draw either of those cards, so that's good. Remember, it, we can still combo off with our creature in the graveyard, so creature being in the graveyard is no big deal. Because I don't want to mill over a risk factor for my opponent. Take action. All right, all we need to do is find Liliana. We draw Liliana, we win. We got our combo pieces in the graveyard, just perfect for Liliana. Mm, good, good turn for them. That's a good draw. Yeah, I'm just discovering. Mm. So it saves like one life right now. Potentially more. We could probably do better. Where's Liliana? Tilt. Whoa, they just didn't cast it? That's nice. We just gain four. Oh, please kill the excavator. Please just use burn spells on excavator. Uh, these were in the starter styles pack. You just use the promo co code starter styles. You get these sleeves. No! Liliana and Contempt! Uh. That's a tilt. That's the card that we needed, was the Liliana. Hopefully there's another one. Gosh. Alright, I mean, if we draw Liliana, we win. Come on, deck. Or we'll take a Shimmer Possibility. Ritual of Set. 
All right, I guess we do this. Now, I don't milling the opponent and potentially hitting lightning strike or hitting risk factors for them is just not is not a good idea. You know, we do need Liliana's, but milling two cards from the top of our library mathematically is not any different from milling two cards, you know, like just taking two cards out from the middle or anything, you know, like for the chance of us hitting Liliana, we could, you know, also just, you know, get closer to Liliana, you know, it's no, there's no like mathematical chance of like difference of milling like the top or the bottom of the library or anything like that. It's it's not a big deal actually milling us too. It's just really unfortunate that it turned out that Liliana was on top. All right, I think we're gonna keep this the same. <laughs> yeah, I did miss one point of damage by not attacking with my two creatures with our, our deck that can only win this matchup by infinite milling. I did not deal that damage there. Okay. Our our two hardest combo pieces, or like the, the two most important are Arcane Adotation and, and Liliana. Because like the others we can just have self-milled. So we have one of the two, and we have Ascanta that helps us find the other. And Ascanta in particular is pretty good where if we see there we go, there's the other. So now if we see the creatures, we can just put the creatures in the graveyard also, because we don't actually need them in our hand. We will need another land, but I'm kind of assuming... I was kind of assuming that we'd find a land. Citrus Supplier is just not a very good card. It helps you a lot less than just playing any blue card draw spell. I'll take a Ritual of Soot. Thank you, deck. Let's clean those up. So they got three cards still. Perfect. There's one. Alright, and we have a second Liliana, so we get to play this one and tick up. And remember, like, the tick up ability, if we do hit a creature, uh, we will... Our creatures are zombies, so we will drain and, and we will gain two life. Let's have some fun. <laughs> chamber Sentry? I have a delicious... Alright, haven't found Chamber Sentry yet. I think I'm actually just going to decline. I don't think I'm going to want to... I don't think I need to activate. Well, they aren't useful to me alive. All right. Well, I guess declining... Yeah, we, we could have won here if I didn't decline. But we're still going to be able to win next turn pretty easily. If I, if I wouldn't have declined, I could have played new... I would have had the mana for new Liliana plus the, the two mana creature. But it's all good. All right, let's transform. Now we have a lot of mana to recast these excavators. So even if they kill the excavator, we just recast it. And it's all good. So we're going to be moving to three and one. So we say zero, zero, mill two. And yeah, so they lightning strike the excavator, but unfortunately for our opponent, our combo is very resilient, and we just recast it. Demir Zombie Mill. 
You can keep killing my creature. But we got another, we got more blue mana. So we're good. Beating mono red. And you just keep on doing this over and over. They're at 40, so just 20 more times. They don't care to see it. We are, we are doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> Jank, four combo, mill combo. Four card, sorry, four card, mill combo. <laughs> it does play out mechanically, ter it does play out terribly mechanically on uh, Arena, that is true. <laughs> what a bull way to win, I like it. This is a bull way to win. Alright, three and one. Ugh. It's the third time we've gotten that one lander. Don't have two black yet, but that's okay. Excavator is, you know, one of the worst cards. We'd rather have Adaptation and Liliana. We are doing it. We beat Mono Red. We had two really, really good hands to be able to defeat Mono Red. Man, I can't beat any of these cards. So Vivian is certainly the most troublesome card. Because Vivian destroys Arcane Adaptation and makes it very hard to combo. Salvatos with that Twitch Prime resub yet again. Welcome back, Salvatos. Get the high boats in the chat. There we go. Sub battle countdown down to 78. Before y'all know it, we'll be there. All right, get rid of that Seraph. Change this clock up. Ugh. Clock's gotten faster again. Take seven, I'm down to eight. That's kind of tough. I kind of want to play this excavator and just chomp with it. That's lame. Wow. We cannot find our combo. Nice, milled over two lands. I guess I could have milled four. I felt like milling two, though. All right, we still need to draw Liliana and Arcane Adaptation. We haven't seen either one yet. Well, that's, that's whatever. Problem is we're dead next turn to the Seraph. So can we draw like a Vrasa's Contempt? That doesn't help us. We already used Contempt. I, I think I only have the one Contempt. Hmm. We 
What can I actually draw? Like a, a cast down to survive one turn. Then we're like just dead the next turn, and I I can't sur make us survive the next turn. So I don't. I'm just not going to show. There's nothing that I can actually draw in my deck, so I'm just not going to show my opponent any more cards. So I'm not going to put anything in the graveyard. Yeah, we don't have any more contempts in the deck. I don't, there's only one, and we already used it. This is going to be tough. Thankfully, we didn't show our opponent Arcane Adaptation, so they're likely not going to bring in Enchantment Removal. This is going to be a tough one to win. I don't think I want to go Thief of Sanity. I do what I do want other contempt. Maybe no soot. Maybe yes soot. Maybe no soot. Hmm. Our opponent didn't miss any damage from the adapt creature attacking. They had to use the man they had to tap their adapt creature to adapt. Taker's not good against Tristani. Hmm. I have a bunch of planeswalkers that kill my adaptation. It's gonna be tough to win. TBH. Because they they play like a lot of Rascal Golgari Queen, Vivian Reed, Knight of Autumn, and then like Tristani, Seraph. Like these are just a whole lot of cards that match up. They're like you know, pretty difficult. Basically, we just need to combo quickly and get get lucky. Dang, if I would have just played this on one last turn, I could have just shot that land war elf. Do I want to cast down that? So, unfortunately, this is this would be summoning sick. All right, we need arcane adaptation. We do need another land, but I'd rather find arcane adaptation first. So I hope they have another land or elf. All right, so we got nothing. Oh yeah, because they have Mortify too. Mortify is a problem. Yeah, we have a four card combo. All right, love it. Love getting that Mortify out of their hand. Just remember, it, it doesn't matter if our creatures are in the graveyard or not. Uh, it's, you know, that's perfectly fine. Double Ethereal Absolution and another Mortify.
Absolution I don't care about. What's the combo? We infinitely mill our opponent by recasting Chamber Sentry over and over and over again. And we have the Excavator in play that each time we we cast it, our opponent gets milled for two. That is certainly a card I care about. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. Because that card kills Arcane Adaptation. Problem is we can't find Arcane Adaptation. Ooh, Absolution does exile my creatures. That's a good point. And that's annoying. I value moral flexibility. Dang it, there's an adaptation. Basically, I'm playing the Liliana here. If we draw adaptation, we win. If we draw it this next turn, we win. We can just combo off. The ends justify the means. Seems fortune favors you. But I think we should keep milling. Because if our opponent does exile the 1 3, we're going to need to find another 1 3. Like, we need to find two, two excavators. Oh, we do have two excavators now. That's good. That's good. All right, come on. Ugh. Into the grave with you. Good. Get rid of those lands. Love it. They have to draw a land. Please don't draw a land. They didn't draw a land. Okay. We're one and one. Whew. Man, this deck is sweet. All right, they're all zombies. I have mastered death. We have our negative one, negative one. Combo achieved. Man, this deck's so good. This deck's kind of real. It's, it's kind of like a real deck. There we go. Whew. Hey, what's up, Crimson Coven? We're having fun janking our opponents out here. We're three and one right now, going to a game three. But now, now that they know exactly what we're doing, game three is going to be tough. All their mortifies and everything. So I do need more duresses. I think I want duress instead of negate. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, this deck is fun. Yeah, because between Mortify, Vraska Golgari Queen, Vivian Reed, and Knight of Autumn, it's really tough for me to kill our opponent. We kind of need our Arcane Adaptation to be the last piece, like we had that game. Usually, adaptations like our first piece that we throw out first, bet between that and Liliana, you know, like between those two. Usually, like, we have to, like, play one and untap with one and then play the other. 
kind of thing. And usually it's easier to untap with Adaptation than Liliana. But against our opponent, it's not easy to untap with either because they they attack Liliana. They have tons of removal for Adaptation. So that's, that's why it's difficult for us to combo here because they have good answers to... They can pressure both of our permanents that we need to have in play. So Nine of Autumn does kill Adaptation, but... Tristani kills me a whole lot faster. Hey, what's up, Ross? Doing good? <laughs> you don't spend wild cards on all these unplayable rares to build this. Understandable. Yeah, Arcane Adaptation and... Um... Chamber Century are some pretty random rares that are won't see play in any other deck besides this janky one. Okay, and we're going to be spending some time just spinning the wheels. Okay, okay. Alright, where's Liliana? Definitely considering playing the Chamber Century. Nah, let's just keep let's just keep going. We do okay, there's Liliana. I was gonna say we do need more lands though, honestly. So if we have uh four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, if we just have nine mana, we can play everything. The same turn. You don't want to just do play this for two because it'll just spend the same color of mana. It'll just do blue and blue, so we have to do blue black. <clears throat> well, we're definitely good that they're flooding out. It's definitely good for us. My backup. So I have one, one chamber sentry right now in there. I have a deliciously morbid idea. No, no other excavators. So if both of these attack Liliana, I need to block with the Chamber Sentry. So we'll have two Chamber Sentries in the graveyard. And they could exile one, but they can't exile the other. Knight of Autumn, of course, is sorcery speed, so we get to then then we'll be able to untap. And have this. Okay, so they are.
They're just letting me win. If they just didn't play this Incubation Druid, I thought they were going to be smart and hold up the Ethereal Absolution trigger. If they just didn't play Incubation Druid... There we go. We play the Arcane Adaptation. And that, that, that our opponent knows about. And we go infinite again. Demir, Zombie Mill. We are comboing everybody. 4-1. We are at the final boss. Yeah, they, they didn't realize that I could just kill my own Chamber Sentry there. All right, final boss playlist. We've been we've been beating some good decks. We beat uh, we lost to Jeskai Drakes. Or whoops, wrong emote. I'm on my final boss emote. There we go. No extra life. This is it. We beat Teamer Reclamation. We out combo that combo deck. Eddie, I don't really understand your question. What's your take on changes to Arena, like being able to play traditional rank now? I don't... I mean, it. I don't... I don't know what take you would have otherwise than it's good that that's an option and that more options are, are good. I don't, I don't know if there's a different take that anybody would have on that. I don't know why it wouldn't be good. Okay, Woodland Cemetery, huh? Alright, looking for a combo. Nope. Yeah, I'll take Shimmer. Shimmer helps us find that. So we need Adaptation or Liliana. And, or both. I like our opponent's avatar and everything. So I think I'm going to just cast down this turn. Give myself one more draw step also before... Because, like, Shimmer possibility, you make one choice. So, like, if we if we cast Shimmer and there's both one Liliana and one Arcane Adaptation, it's kind of hard to choose which one you want to, to choose. So we had a little bit more information about uh, about that. So let's take the Liliana. All right, so we know one excavator is at the bottom. Yes, our opponent probably has Jade Light Ranger. We can't play it with only a single green. Um, still kind of want to just cast, kill the Wild Growth Walker here. Weighty Cakes, thanks for resubbing here for the second month with that tier one sub. I really do appreciate that. Ooh, Hostage Shaker's interesting. What if we just take this land world? Oh, they're just going to cast down it? Oh, no cast down. Okay, good. Hey, what's up, Glaive? All right. Sub battle countdown. 77. So we need to find Arcane Adaptation, and we also need to find was it Diligent Excavator. Yeah, and we know one of we know we have a Diligent Excavator on the bottom currently. Yeah, now we get to play a Chamber Sentry for three now with this 
Llanowar Elf. Ooh, okay, okay. So now all we need is Arcane Adaptation. So let's go... Definitely want to play this for three. Then the main question is... I want to be able to kill that Krasis. Main question is whether I go Liliana or Excavator here. Basically, the problem with playing Liliana is they could be like Contempt to Liliana. I don't. I don't think I want to. I don't really want to throw either in front of a Contempt. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. I guess I need to play the Excavator though. They're not going to Contempt Excavator. I should just do that so Beasts that if I would have drawn the other thing, I could. Humans. Draw and fire. What? I don't know, but I love it. Now they're going to chump block this thing? They're going to chump block hostage taker now? Alright, I'll take it. Now we're getting started. Pretty surprised they didn't just, you know, tick up. All right, arcane adaptation. I just need to draw adaptation. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Do you think our opponent knows? Do you think our opponent is thinking that there's a chance they die next turn? When I just have an excavator in play and a chamber sentry in the graveyard. No adaptation. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two. We could still. We could still do it. Uh, no, Deckmaster should be. Every oh, like view my deck like cards in. I think that might be because of the sleeves. We are running out of time, though, with these Carnage Tyrants. With Carnage Tyrant and now Wild Growth Walker, we are certainly running out of time. I need to draw Arcane Adaptation. I would like to do that this turn. Tilt. We have nothing on the battlefield, but we could still kill our opponent because we have enough mana. We just draw adaptation. If our opponent's going to keep up the cast down, though, we're not going to be able to. We don't have enough mana then. Nice. They didn't. They tapped out. Come on! Oh! Four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, I'm one mana off. One mana off. We didn't find it anyway. Man, we never found one of those. Finally. Yep, so three mana. Three mana off. Okay. So let's get another ritual of soot or two. Hmm. If our opponent knows what's going on, it's going to be difficult. But we had we had a whole lot of draws there. We need to see an arcane adaptation in our first 24, 24 cards, and we did not. We found all the other pieces in the first 24, but not the adaptation. Um, 
let's see. So I can like getting rid of Vivian's pretty important because Vivian minusing to kill adaptation is is trouble. We kind of can't play all of these though. Hasta Shaker can do a lot of good work for us, but I kind of want to take it out. And have Ritual of Sid instead. That could certainly be a mistake. And... Maybe two cast down? No. Let's play two soot. Yeah, I've played some different uh, Revel and Riches decks before. Yep, sure have. Again, we have these parts of the combo, but we want the other parts. We want Adaptation and Liliana, but I don't really imagine this is a... Mulligan. I'm going to go and play the Chamber Sentry on one this time. So that if our opponent plays Llanowar Elf, we can just kill it. Or... There we go. Very good. We don't have to use a cast down or anything like that. And we get to get the, get to get the Llanowar Elf out of there. Hey, Jelly Tug, happy Saturday. Okay. Good card to see. I'm gonna take the discovery. You know, we need to find Arcane Adaptation. And if we draw a land, we can, like, set away both of these. If we don't, we can Discovery plus Cast Down. If we, like, you know, if we need to Cast Down. I definitely really like seeing them cast, keep that Wild Growth Walker, because that card doesn't, doesn't matter too much. But yeah, we'll just go ahead and set these away. Yeah, so we, so can you explain how to kill with this deck? So we have, we mill our opponent out with a four card combo. With Liliana allowing us, to, we have Arcane Adaptation, which is an enchantment that turns our creatures into zombies. I'll take that ritual. This Contempt is going to be annoying. So we're going to need to find Arcane Adaptation. Definitely not keeping that. It's just, do I want to keep this, or do I want to draw random cards? Because next turn we're going to Soot, and then the turn after that, do I want to have Discovery? Or do I rather have just the two extra cards? It will work out if we have... I mean, we'd, we'd still have the ability to Discovery and Cast Down. The Dispersal may honestly be really important if they have a Vivian as well. I don't really know how I would work around that, though. You caved in and bought the $15 bundle? It's a good, it's a good bundle. I would like land. I'd like to just draw a land here. Either land or arcane adaptation. Okay, good. Uh, 
questions. Why am I not playing the Mythic Invitational? Well, that second word there, it's an Invitational. You have to be invited to play it. And uh, I was not... Oh, how can I beat Contempt and Vivian? I don't know if I can. So mana wise, uh, we have three, four, five, six. All right, so if we draw a land, all right. Assuming they do not contempt diligent excavator. And they just play Vivian this turn. All we need to do is draw a land. And then we can just slam down Liliana and Arcane Adaptation and win. Oh, I should have kept that land. I just milled over a land. Dang it. You're right. I just milled over a land. I could have had that land on top. Alright, hopefully it's another to land. Come on, don't punish me. Another land, another land. Tilt. No one knows I was thinking about that after I, I cast the discovery, not before. But that doesn't matter. So they did not keep up contempt. Well, they I mean, I guess contempt doesn't matter either. We had two of these, so now, same thing. Land and we win. Hooray! All right, we're going to game three. Combo deck achieved. Ah, I feel like my old self. <laughs> yeah, spell pierce. That would have got me. And so this is what we do. We have these three out, and we just chamber sentry. Just make it a zero zero. And we just have to do this another 18 times. Oh, it's it's lagging up a little bit. I've played different types of Esper mid ranges, not like not like anything normal. Like, uh, one that we had some success with here recently was a, a deck called Esper Duplicate. There's a Esper mid-range deck based around ETB creatures and quasi duplicate and Thief of Sanity. We were so close to doing this last game. Couldn't quite do it. They have Vit or they have Vraska as well. Vraska is another thing that kills Arcane Adaptation. But you know, like we just un we just had a diligent excavator in play whenever we untapped. I don't think our opponent was thinking that they were gonna die when we just had a diligent excavator. Final boss game three. We can do it, Mike. We can do it. Oh, they have Assassin's Trophy too? That's really rude. It's really going to be a tough one to win. But we've already won some tough ones. No, it would not 
be worth it to, to put any desecrated tombs in your deck. No. Yeah, our opponent played two tyrants against us the first game. That's they've had they've had three tyrants so far. It's a lot of clicking. But it's worth it. Yeah, our opponent's just letting us see their entire deck for no reason. The the biggest reason to do that is so so I'm like so from my so like what they're they're thinking is let me see the deck so that I play against this specific deck, but then in game three you do a lot of sideboarding and you switch it up and you bring a different deck to the table kind of thing and then I'm not prepared for the different deck because I'm looking at this deck so that's a way to try to use that to Your advantage so like maybe now I'm not expecting counter magic and discard spells when they're gonna be sideboarding those in maybe mm. ritual soot was clutch we need all three and car was clutch they do have a good amount of I kind of want some duresses too. Thanks, Scott Game. I forgot we're not the Sultai deck. At first, whenever I just looked at this hand, I was like, well, we don't have our third color. I only got two, and I was like, wait a minute, we're a two-color deck. I guess we don't actually need a Duress yet. Give them some more opportunity to draw the card that we'll need a Duress away. So there, there's an example there with like the negate. Um, they didn't have, didn't have negate last game in their deck. So like they were hoping that I wasn't going to play around it, kind of thing. So I need to just contempt, or I just need to cast down this jade light, so because I can't just take a whole lot of damage. So all we need to do is draw Arcane Adaptation. Liliana can mill over our other pieces. You can find the two creatures. We need to find that Arcane Adaptation. Oh, they just draw Find Finality? That's annoying. They did. No? Okay. Let's see what they got. Two cards over there? They did have Find. Get that out of here. All right, Chamber Sentry of the Graveyard. Another combo piece acquired. All right, another combo piece acquired. But not the one we want. We want Arcane Adaptation. I'm just going to contempt the Krasis on their turn. I don't really know why I'm doing it on their turn. I'm going to just do it on my turn. Hmm. 
we're looking for arcane adaptation. If not, we want like discovery. That was certainly not good to see. That was quite bad for us. to be chump blocking here though. Use a ritual of set. I think it really matters who I mill. I'm just gonna mill my opponent. Oh, love it. Assassin's Trophy and Vivian. Great mill, great mill. They haven't seen a land in forever. Cause they they just had we know that their last cards were Duress, Cast Down, Branch Walker, Wow Growth, Branch Walker, Assassin's Trophy, Vivian, and Wow Growth, and Jade Light. Those were all those spells in a row. Like from from like they're exploring, everything, so it's got to be a land, right? On top. We need Azkanta to hit Arcane Adaptation, and then we need to draw a land. And our opponent definitely drew a land. There's no way they drew another spell. All right, Arcane Adaptation. All right, there's that. And then land. Oh, so close. <sighs> so close. All right, so we're gonna Contempt. We're gonna Contempt the Jade Light. I mean, I could have taken Ritual of... I should have just taken Ritual of Set, probably. I was just going for the win. But yeah, we're still alive. Might as well just fire this thing off right now. Uh, yeah, they, they had to land 100%. Barely alive. They need to draw another land. Come on. Yeah, going for the win wasn't bad, but I could have just stayed alive longer if I would have just taken Ritual of Soot. All we need to do is draw a land there, and we won. Dang. It was so close. It was so close. But game over.
four and two still a really good really good league good good run for sure a specific top deck it only required a land if i so if i get the ritual of soot cast that we're alive for a little longer for sure but then we need to then we need to find another arcane adaptation and then we're only looking for th there's only three arcane adaptations uh so it's going to be it's still going to be difficult to beat the Vrass's contempt. So like our opponent was drawing that Vrass's contempt. I don't it's going to be difficult to beat that. Uh, I don't know. We would have had to found another one. You know, if our opponent draws another like way to another thing that kills us. Can't to can dig us out. But Yeah. Oh, well, really close. Really close to five wins, though. That was, you know, real close. Uh, game one, you know, we were just the Arcane Adaptation away. We had a, a lot of turns. You know, we had, we saw the top 24 cards of our library before we died, where if one of those was Arcane Adaptation, we win game one. And then game three took the, the Adaptation. We need to hit land, and we didn't. So... There we go. That was pretty cool. So, good deck. Fun fun deck to play. Uh, a lot of close games, as you saw there. So, it was a pretty exciting deck to play and everything. And, you know, if you, if you like playing some jank and you want to have a, a janky combo deck that your opponents are not going to be expecting, the opponents we've been playing against, nobody's expecting what these games are going to look like. And uh, that's what it's been like. And so, Demir, Zombie Mill, uh, really fun games there. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget.